Well, perfect day for putting the old girl back together. And the engine block all nicely cleaned. And a nice new head gasket at the ready to go on. I've also got a new set of head bolts. I've replaced the valve stem seals in the head. So, um, let's get her back together. Okay, with the head carefully lowered in place and the locating dowels front and back in place, you can see that it's nicely lined up all the way around. And it's very hard to try and get it on dead square, but you've got to do your best to try and drop it in one go rather than fidgeting around. So I managed to really reach in there and drop her on the block. And I've got a new set of head bolts to go in as well. So let's just go and grab new head bolts. Dropped into the head. Now with these, there's a three stage tightening process. It's the first stage at 70 Newton meters. Then you go over again at 70 Newton meters and then it's a 90 degree. And there is a sequence to do these up and it's available on Autodata or, or online somewhere. But um, I'll try and bring a picture up of it so you can actually see. Um, right, let's go and grab my torque wrench. There's the uh, sequence you have to follow. Um, my friend sent me this this morning. Um, as you can see, uh, oh, let's get the phone back up again. Obviously the flywheel, the, uh, flywheel at the back there, and obviously the water pump at the front. So if you look at that, you've got your one, two, and three, four, and so forth, and that's the order you have to follow, so you don't distort the head when it tightens down. So uh, I hope that's helpful to some of you out there. Okay, head bolts tighten down to 70, 70, and then 90 degrees. Um, just pop the push rods back in. I'm going to put the rocker cover back on now. But obviously, when you take these out, uh, make sure you, you poke them some, through some cardboard to keep them in the order that they came out from. Um, just give them a quick wipe down before I put them back in. So, uh, yep, get in there. Now, what I tend to do with any rocker arm that I put back on, um, I lift them up by hand first and just start him from the middle and work my way out. A bit like, a, like we're doing a cylinder head, just so that it goes down square. And obviously some bolts will go down tighter than others because depending on what the uh, push rods are doing, if they're pushing up on the valve. So, you know, you will feel it, feel a slight difference as you're tightening it up. Just make sure the push rods are going in properly as well. And just give it a damn good wiggle. When you're doing that by hand, but you say work your way out, okay? It just makes life a little bit easier. And just do it by hand first. Don't be in a rush to get this down. Just take your time. If we go any further, take your time. Um, before we put the injectors in, obviously I'd put the injectors in now before the manifold goes on because obviously when it comes to the top here you have limited access to, to pump pot number four. Um, it's a good time to do the, the tappet clearances which is pretty straightforward on these which is try and explain the principle okay so if you look at the two back uh, rockers uh, and you'll see that number eight's going down if I just wipe back attach you can see that number seven will start to go down so that's when they say when they're rocking so basically you want to get these two here just rocking I've gone too far Hang on, just come back a tad. There we go. And now, one and two. See? You'll be able to get a feeler gauge in there and check the, check the clearances. So obviously, if you're not too sure which one's the inlet, which one's the exhaust, obviously this is the exhaust manifold here. So that will be the exhaust valve. And this one is in line with the inlet. So exhaust and inlet. Exhaust should be 38. Oh, a little bit too big. And all you do is wind it down a little bit at the back there to get the right tension. So let me carry on, and I'll uh, I'll feed back in a second. How are we getting on? Okay, injector pipes back on. Um, get to the back of the pump. Uh, filter brackets back on with a filter. Rocker covers back on. I've cranked the engine over by hand a couple of times just to make sure there's no nasty graunchiness or anything. It's all running very smoothly. So um, just going to pop the main manifold back on now and uh, sort her out. And my dog just wants to play at the moment. Let you tumble. Hey, <sighs> dearie me. Right, anyway, better crack on. Radio. the uh, main in inlet manifold's all put back on. 
DGR valve bracket, that's all secure. Just cleaning out this a little bit. And look at that, weather's changing now, so I'm hoping to try and get this running before the heavens open, but you never know. Typical Devonian weather. There we go. Right. Now, that looks pretty damn good. Yeah, she's all wet together, looking pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously make sure it runs properly and I'm going to change the cam belt on her as well. And then I've got a nice new cam cover to go on. But uh, just make sure she all runs up lovely and everything else before I, you know, do the finishing touches as it were. But uh, yeah, not a bad little job really. So uh, fingers crossed, I'll have, I'll have a running today. Yeah, but I'm waiting for the battery to charge up. Uh, a friend of mine asked me to put on the video where to lock up when you're doing a cam belt on one of these. So just below the oil filter on the bell housing, so just below the fuel filter on the bell housing, sorry, there's a small hole where you can put a 30 mil drill bit. And basically you put it into the hole and hold it there while you turn the inch over by hand until it drops into the slot. And you'll feel it slide straight in. The pump is here. That's on a 10 mil drill bit. And as you can see, it's dead spot on. And the cam goes into that one. So nice and straightforward, easy to do, no problems. Okay, with the battery just thrown in there for now, I'll put some coolant in. It's all connected up. Um, took a lot to get it going because of the airlock and the injectors and stuff. Um, but now, the misfire has gone. So remember before, was it a previous video how rough she was running? Uh, to now, you can actually hear it purring quite nicely. No misfire. Happy days!